So we got to see the lives of the classmates before they got reincarnated into another world. And it seemed like, you know, it was the everyday high school thing, you know, the, the, nothing was different, you know, Shun hanged out with his two friends, and it looks like the third one is missing, so they don't know where he is. And it was pretty much showing how everyone was before, you know, reincarnation. Um, it showed how Hugo was a competitive dude, but, you know, he was so friendly, you know. He even praised Shun for helping him win a game, even scoring in, you know, like, way to go, man. Hugo seemed like a pretty nice guy, you know? Bit straightforward, but that's how some jocks are, you know? Very straightforward, very manly and buff, testosterone, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know? But my only thing was with, with Wakaba and how she acts completely different as a spider than she originally did as a human being. As a human being, it seems like she was just always by herself reading a book. And the and Faye would um constantly bully her, I guess because I she's got her nerves I guess that shit happens you know when you're quiet people think oh you're easy to bully and stuff no one will pay attention to me bullying you, but it seemed like she wasn't always into it. And all it took was for Rockabout to really just you know just glance at her, and Faye would be kind of hesitant or kind of fear, but she'll get back into it, you know. So it makes me wonder what made Wakaba change personalities so quickly. Even if she was reincarnated as a spider, you see her personality is then and now, where she's completely hyperactive. She's constantly talking to herself, acting goofy. The personalities don't match up to me. You know, like maybe that's how she always was on the inside or something, but just didn't want to show it. That could be it. Um, not completely sure, but that was it. And then, of course, where the teacher said how Wakaba is dead, and and then everyone was like, and especially Faye, who, like I said, I really like Faye. Faye with the dragon is really one of my favorite characters in the show, and I don't know why. Because first of all, the, the design is so cute. It's cute, and yet she can be deadly at the same time. And plus, she's actually feeling bad about what she's done in the past, and now she kind of want to do something about it, at least, you know? Even once she wants to see Wakaba and at least apologize to her, but the fact that she hears that she's dead, it makes things worse for her. It's like, oh man, things just keep getting worse, you know? She's probably already had the guilt of the skilled Ken Eater on the side, inside her, and now this. She, she's not feeling so good about herself, you know? She's like, karma is really hitting her, and she gives what she deserves. And that's how she's feeling it. So I really feel sorry for her, man. Like, I hope she cheers up, man. I hope she can find some way to hurl through this. Because, God, my cute little dragon needs a, needs a break. That's what she needs. Now, let's get on to the comedy side with Wakaba. And how she's, you know, using her skills. And she's discovered the, the administrator. There is probably an administrator watching everybody. But she said, what can you do about it? What can you do about it? You can't, you don't have time to worry about that. You gotta survive. And of course, she's, you know, testing out, um, lecturing on the new skills and how to use power, even how to use magic, because she, she finally can use magic now, which is good. But however, they wanted to see who wanted to be the magic one, the the body one, like, the body brain, like, no, let me be the magic skill. And she's like, no, I wanna be the magic skill. And then a third personality showed up. And she will be the magic mind. The magic mind shows up. And then, of course, this dragon, who pretty much looks like he's halfway dead, is there. And now they're fighting it. And I, for some reason, I saw this coming, that sooner or later, that the entire floor will become magma. Or lava, whatever it is. I just knew it. Eventually this would happen. And guess what? It did happen. The entire floor... It's gone, you know, barely anything left, so she got to go what she does, but now she knows how to use magic. But she's having this epic duel with this dragon, but then at the same time, a fourth one shows up. <laughs> a fourth one shows up, hey everybody, and the other you know, three are like, not now. <laughs> she, oh my god. But, like, I felt sorry for that one, but at the same time, you should have just waited. 
it's just just help them out and then after the dust is cleared like wow thanks for the help who are you and then just introduce yourself all cool that's what they usually do in shonens and shoujos you know just to show up help them at the time of need and then then made them then make your entrance you know make your um debut like greetings everyone i am this <laughs> So that one had me cracking up, yeah, I swear. But it still is a mystery of how Wakaba completely changed so, you know, dramatically, like that, drastically. It's, it still boggles my mind, and probably we'll get an explanation, probably. Hope we do, actually. So, like I said, not much really happened in this episode, so that's why I'm keeping it short. It was just, you know... Some backstory about how everyone was was before the incident. However, they got reincarnated. It's still a mystery too. Something happened. I don't know what caused it, but I am intrigued to find out. Then at the same time, um, this administrator thing. So we actually got more questions now than answers. Great. But that's how you glue people into a story, you know. That's how you do it. So I give you your props for that. And that's where I'm going to end it, you know. Good, um, it was an okay episode. Nothing truly pushing for it, you know, just some insight. That's pretty much what it really was, it was just insight. But hey, you can always use that sometimes. So, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. This has been the Matt Crown on Anime, signing out.